Hey parents, hey students, this is Miss Brian from the Gore Family Foundation and today is our very first video of many to come. These lessons are going to be simple, easy, fun and very interactive. So come, let us begin. We're going to be doing a quick lesson, quick, fun and easy lesson. Lessons that you can do at home to stimulate those little brain. Yes, so today we're going to be talking about money. No, I know you're used to giving your children a little twenty dollars, a little ten dollars, but most of them does not know amount or how to reason with money. So that is what we're going to be doing today. All right. So to begin, you can allow your child to see a few money, like to see if they recognize any of them. I can identify of them, any of them. And you just hold up each of them. It's okay if they don't know, probably they're not exposed to the bigger money. Yes. So I have some a thousand dollar bills, a five hundred dollar bill. I shouldn't be telling you. <laughs> but yeah, and we have some coins. No. The aim is to allow the child to see which money is bigger, which money can purchase this. Um, if I was to buy this certain amount would this money be able to buy so it's, it's to see where your child reasoning abilities at so we're going to start today let's say we're working with ease money and your child can say this is five dollar one dollar twenty dollar ten dollar but does not know these bigger money right and know that these bigger money have bigger value now you can do pretend play with your children and this is easy because you're getting resources just from your home so you're you can pretend that you're going to the shop to the supermarket wherever all right so you can say all right then jamie for instance jamie if i was supposed to go to the shop and purchase all of these things right here which one of these money would you think i would be using no, you have to sit there and listen for the response and all of that. No, if the child picks up a money like this, you don't just say wrong. You ask the child, okay, why do you think that you can use this amount to buy this and, and to hear what the child has to say? No, afterwards, then you can correct the child and say, no, I don't think so. I think it would be one of these monies. Why would you think it would be one of these money right here? And you allow, you give questions to stimulate the child's mind. Now you can compare two things. Now this is a sweetie and this is a tin of mackerel. Now they are used to buying these things, right? And you can say, all right, I have a sweetie here and I have a tin of mackerel here which of these money would I use to buy the sweetie versus the money I would use to buy the mackerel? No, you have to sit there and listen for the child reaction and you can ask questions as well to stimulate the mind. All right, so you can even go as far as say, all right, this is a small thing and these are large amounts. Which one do you think costs more? Which set of items do you think costs more? And which set of items do you think costs less? So yes, that is just a quick and easy stimulant. You can have conversation, you can talk, you can use different scenarios. If I was to go to the shop to buy this, if I was supposed to go to the shop to buy that, which of these money do you think I would use? If I was supposed to go to, let's say go to, Spanish down from Kingston, could I use a $20 or should I use a $100? Which of these do you think I should use? So, and then it gets the reasoning going. The more talk you, the more you talk, the more questions you ask, it allows the child to think more and stuff like that. So, all right, this is our first lesson. Until then, see you, have fun. 